Hey guys, today's video is going to be my very first one brand tutorial and I am so happy to be doing this because I love Elf Cosmetics. They have been such a huge support in my journey blogging and vlogging since the very beginning of the times. So I truly love Elf and the people behind them and I love their products. If you watch any of my other videos, you would see that I always have something from Elf because they just really have awesome stuff and they're very affordable and they work. So I am so happy to be finally doing this today. I know that you guys requested this for a while now, so here it is. Everything will be linked and listed down below in the description box for you guys. I try to make everything easier for you, so please don't forget to check that out. If you're new, please don't forget to subscribe. And now, without any more rambling, let's get started. Today we're starting from scratch, so I have nothing on my face right now aside from my skincare, moisturizer, and all the good stuff. So I'm going to start by priming, and I'm going to use the 3-in-1 primer, and I have been loving this primer. I have not stopped using this since I got it. It's absolutely amazing. It's very hydrating, and it's very soothing, makes your skin really smooth, and it's perfect for the cold fall winter time so I absolutely recommend this product. For foundation today I'm going to be using the Flawless Finish Foundation and this has quickly became my whole, one of my holy grail foundations and that is a huge bold statement right there but this foundation is amazing. I have used it on myself several times, I have used it on other people and the effect is the same. Everybody loves the way they look and how they, their skin feels so I can recommend this foundation enough. I'm gonna mix the shade Porcelain and Sand because sand is a little bit too yellow and the pink too dark for me and porcelain is a little too pink and a little too light for me. So when I combine them both, they're perfect. So that is the only little thing that it's a little bit of a drawback. Um, the shades are not like, the shades are great but just sometimes you have to mix and match to get your perfect shade. However, they're only $6 so it's not that big of a deal in my eyes to buy two and mix and match. For concealer, I'm going to use the HD Lifting Concealer and mine is in the shade Fair. And I love the shade. I think it's perfect because I can highlight with it and it also really brightens up my under eye without being like too light. So I absolutely love this concealer. So I'm going to set my under eyes with the HD powder and this is sheer so it's just like a white powder like that and I'm actually going to use the little powder puff that comes with it. I know this looks scary but I promise it's not that bad. And just right away I'm just going to wipe everything off. That's why it's just like a very slight bake. And because I'm wiping right away, it's not going to be overly dry or anything like that. This is a pretty good solid base, so I like how this is looking. I'm going to bronze up my face and I'm going to use this duo that I used before on my first impressions video. I absolutely, I continue to love this product. It's absolutely amazing. It's a cream, but then, you know, once you dip your brush into it, you're like, oh, it's creamy. But then once you blend it on the skin, it's like a powder. Um, but it doesn't look powdery. It's just, it's mind-blowing. I absolutely love, love, love this product. So mine is in the shade Bronze Pink Beige. And I love the, the blush as well. It's amazing. Super pigmented. So highly recommend this. So I went ahead and did this one eye off camera just to speed things up a bit. But I would do every single step on this eye on camera. So you don't feel like you missed out on anything. After my foundation, I went straight to brows. And I use the Lock On Gel Liner, and this is in a shade medium brown. I think that this is like the best dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow. I used this on my brow tutorial that I did a while ago, and I still love it. So I'm going to take a small angle brush, and I'm going to brush my brows where I want them to be. So I'm just going to dip my brush into this, and then I'm going to start drawing the shape of my brow. So 
So the brow is done and the only thing I don't have from e.l.f. Cosmetics is a brow gel. So I didn't apply any even though I would love to. Um, I feel like my brows look better when I have a brow gel, but I don't have any, so we're gonna skip it for today. To prime my eyelid, I'm gonna use the Mineral Eyeshadow Primer, and I love this. I've had this for a while now, and I just, I think it's a great eye primer. I really, really do. And mine is in the shade Sheer, but it does a great job at covering up any discoloration or veins or whatnot. And I'm gonna quickly set it with that same HD uh, loose powder just to you know nothing moves or creases or nothing like that to start this eye I went in with this little cream shadow and this is in a shade molten bronzed it's so gorgeous and even though I'm gonna go back and forth with this and apply a little bit more and whatnot but I like to start just so I can map out my eye so I just kind of put this all over my lid but below below my crease I'm just going to blend out the edges right here just so they don't crease on me very lightly so I'm gonna pick up my matte for matte palette and I'm gonna use this uh, red brown right here and I'm gonna get the same fluffy brush and I'm going to start building up the intensity of that shadow all over my crease Once this is nice and dark, I'm going to go and dip into my contour palette and I'm going to pick up the um, highlighting shade right here and I'm going to pack this and highlight my brow bone. Now I'm going to pick up a smaller blending brush and I'm going to take this shadow right here and it's more like a, it has like almost like a purple undertone. It's a very deep brown but it has a little bit of a purple undertone. And I'm gonna really concentrate this on my crease. Then I'm gonna take a clean blending brush and just get rid of all the harsh lines. So I'm gonna go back with that cream shadow and I'm gonna top it all off again just to bring it back that shimmer. And then before this dry, I'm just gonna blend it out again. So now for a wing liner, I'm gonna use this uh, liquid liner and literally I bought this at the dollar store a few days ago. I have been using this liner forever and it's just so easy and it's really opaque and it's not so shiny. It's kind of like matte and I just, it's perfect. I love, love this liquid liner. Close enough. For lashes today, I'm gonna use their uh, Dramatic Lash Kit. And I have to say, these lashes are not like my absolutely favorite because they are very flimsy. However, they feel really nice once you have them on. So they're not a total loss. I wouldn't be, it would, they wouldn't be like the number one that I would recommend, but honestly, they're not terrible. Um, they just look very, um, you know, they have that false lash look. They're not very fluffy, but I don't think they look terrible so for this look I think they'll look okay I also trimmed out uh, the outer edges a little bit because they were a little too big for me so make sure that you always measure your lashes before you put them on I feel like that's the number one reason why people can't put false lashes on um, they're way too big for you and they keep poking you and they're uncomfortable and also you don't give enough time for the glue to get tacky and it just kind of like slides everywhere so Make sure you do those two things and it really will be okay. Just takes a little bit of practice. Now I'm gonna take this eyeliner and shadow stick and I'm gonna take the liner side, which is just a matte, black and I'm going to tight line my eyes. So now I'm just going to do kind of like the same thing I did on my lid. I'm going to take this uh, more reddish brown right here and a pencil brush and I'm going to run this all over my lower lash line. 
really closely going on, on the... <laughs> Rewind! I'm gonna pick up a flat brush like this and I'm going to take the uh, purplish brown that we applied on our upper lid and I'm going to really go very close to the root of my lower lashes. Then I'm gonna dip my pencil brush very lightly into that same shadow and I'm going to kind of like go over the lower lash line one more time. For the inner corner highlight, I'm gonna dip into my Pink Tastic. This is a baked blush and it happens to be one of my favorite highlighters of all time. So as you can see, it's all like golden and a little bit of pinkish. So I'm gonna try to pick up and concentrate my pencil brush on the very golden parts, not so much on the pink parts. So the eyes are complete. So now I wanna move on to my complexion again. And I wanna start by contouring my face a little bit more, just give a little bit more structure. So I wanna dip it my, into my um, contour palette and I'm gonna use the darkest shade right here. And for my nose, I'm gonna mix both shades right here, just to give it a light little contour. Now I'm gonna take both highlighting shades and I'm gonna put this everywhere I want to highlight. So underneath my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, on my chin, and on my forehead a little bit. So now for actual highlighting, I'm gonna use the same Baked blush in Pink Tastic, and I'm gonna use a fan brush this time. And I want my highlighter to really pop. I want people to see me from like miles and miles away. So I'm gonna spritz my brush with some mist and set, and just kind of swirl all around. Oh yes! Elf, if you ever watch this, please don't ever discontinue this product because it's honestly one of the best highlighters of all time. And before I move on to lips, I'm gonna spritz my whole face with the same mist and set. So for lips, I wanna do something really bold. What else is new? I know. <laughs> I love bold lips, what can I say? But I wanna use this, uh, one, this is one of their brand new shades from their Velvet Matte Lipsticks. And I use this on my elf vlog um because they gave us these lipsticks then so and i immediately i was like i love this color so i had to put it on right away and i absolutely love it it's really long wearing and it's not drying on your lips so it's amazing so i retweeted this not that long ago because it it blew my mind i had no idea about this whatsoever but the bottom of all of their lipsticks and their lip scrub it's actually a lip balm. How crazy is that? I had no idea. All right guys, so that's it for this video. I absolutely love how this looked here now. It's very full, very vampy, very dramatic. I honestly, truly love e.l.f. Cosmetics so, so, so much. From the bottom of my heart, they have been some of the biggest supporters in my whole blogging, vlogging um, journey. So I truly appreciate them. and. It was only fair that I would do a video dedicated to them. If you have any requests or suggestions or anything that you would like to say, please leave me a comment down below. I always love to hear your feedback. So as always, if you like this video, if you found it helpful, and if you learned something new, please give me a thumbs up because it really, really helps my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.